for us, watermelon was also a very meaningful ingredient because our grandmothers used to rub the rind on the skin in the hot summer months in Korea to soothe heat rash. And mm. watermelon is a family fruit. Y'all, you finish a whole watermelon with your family around the TV at the end of a long day. It's just kind of one of those rituals, but then the rind would never go to waste. It would always be used on the skin. And we wanted to harness the soothing anti-inflammatory effects of watermelon, but also pair it with AHAs, which are a skin retexturizing ingredient that helps to smooth, helps you with glow. So really the best of both worlds combined. What was interesting at the time is that, especially in the mask category, there were clay masks, like very poor refining, but very drying. And then there were hydrating masks. And that was about it. So no one really had taken these two attributes and combined them truly in one formulation in an interesting way. And our labs at the time actually told us, not possible. It's just not going to work. So after 1,000 iterations, which as both of us have been in the industry for a long time, it is totally outside of the norm to do that many submissions of a formulation. But it took a lot of discussion and a lot of trial and error and work to get to where the watermelon mask landed because we wanted it to be efficacious but gentle enough in case someone wanted to use it daily. We wanted it to have a sensorial texture and has this very fun goopy jelly texture that really kind of wraps the skin. We want it to have an instant effect. When you wash it off, you see that glow. And then of course, skin benefits over time. And that really took a long time to perfect. And when we did launch, you know, every new brand, it's a nerve wracking experience because you just don't know what the reception will be. And I think this community of of fans that we've built over time with Glow Recipe as a curation site and have come to really trust our recommendations and our educational content were incredibly supportive. And the ingredient story, the, the formulation, all of this was seen as a true innovation. And it actually ended up selling out, I think seven or eight times in a very short period of time after launch, we could not keep it in stock, which is a whole nother story. And then there was a wait list of almost 8,000 people right off the bat waiting for this formula. And we were blown away, humbled by the response. Um, And for us, it showed that, you know, trusting our gut along this process really led us down the right path. And that our community was actually hungry for more innovation, which then led to other products launched within Glow Recipe Skincare. When your grandmother was doing this stuff with the watermelon, is it just literally you taking the inside of a rind? And do, are you doing anything to it? Are you like heating it up? We're going to do this later today. Yeah. That's why we're I, asking. I want to I I make try sure this out. we don't yeah. look like crazy people. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's nothing complicated. I mean, I think one of the reasons why it initially even started was we all knew that watermelon was healthy for the skin, but... Our grandmothers being very nimble, they didn't want to waste any part from the fruits. And so that's it all how it started. But there's nothing, you know, complicated for you to do. It's just literally the rind and you just like rub it against your heat rashes. And I mean, it was like miraculous, right? Because we saw firsthand how it just completely got rid of our rashes, heat rashes. And in in Korea in hot summer months, I feel like, you know, we didn't even have a lot of air conditioners at that time. And so having this cooling effect was such a fun, sensorial, memorable childhood time for us. 